Good morning and welcome back. This is Renee and welcome back to Mindful Intuitive Self. Today we have another another love message, Three of Pentacles. Someone wants the partnership. They want to work with you. They want to make things right. But let's take a look at the energy. Before I got on here, as I was channeling, there's someone who is in your energy that is going through their karma. I feel like no matter how it looks on the outside, this person is very unhappy. I feel like when you see this person, if you see this person, um, I feel like they put on a happy face, but the outside doesn't match the inside. No matter how it looks on the outside, this person is very unhappy and they're caught in this karma with family, friends, financial situations, uh, third party. I feel like this person also is dealing with some kind of health issue, maybe that you're not aware of. But I feel like this person is going through a lot at the moment. They're going through way more than what they let on. <clears throat> and I feel like in a way, you kind of are sensing this yourself. Because I feel like you and this person are really mirroring each other. A lot of things that this person is dealing with, you're dealing with as well. It doesn't have to be a third party situation. But I feel like you're dealing with a lot of the things that this person is dealing with. Maybe financial situations, um, conflicts with family, friends, a lot of gossip and rumors going on. I feel like there's a lot that you're battling as well. But just know that this person is not happy. So they they're kind of in this thought of what did you do to them <laughs> because you have them totally confused totally confused because you speak your mind but you do it in a kind way, so you kind of have them perplexed. They can't figure you out. They can't figure out who you are. Because I feel like when this person met you, when this person came into your life, they had this idea of you this idea of you that was totally wrong they totally took the situation straight to the left they thought that you were in it for fun right they thought that you were the kind of person that <clears throat> would be easy for them to play with so now that they have kind of gotten to know you you have them perplexed because they can't figure you out they see you as this kind and pure authentic person and it's the total opposite of what they thought that you were right so this person feels like you're too good you're too good for them you're too good to even want to give them a second glance but I feel like your heart is already taken and they don't seem to understand that you care very deeply for this person and you would do whatever 
secrets. I feel like this person, <clears throat> they can't move on. Look at this. We have the Six of Swords in reverse. They're not able to move on because they aren't able to keep it real with you. They aren't able to tell you exactly how they feel because they're scared. They're, they're scared to be vulnerable. They're scared to let their guard down because they're, they know. This person knows that you, the way they feel about you, you would destroy them. And I feel like this person has been on their last heartbreak for a very long time. That's the reason why they close down and they only keep things at a surface level. And what you've shown to this person, they can see that you could be the one to break them. And that scares the hell out of this person. That scares them. So they have started avoiding you. And I'm not sure if there's any communication. Maybe minimal communication. Uh, but I feel like there may not be any communication at the moment. Because this person, they know... They know you have their heart. They see something in you that they have never seen in anybody else. And this person, <clears throat> think of how you look at this King of Cups. This person, you have their total attention, but they don't want to let on that you have their total attention. They don't want you to know this because they know that you can break them. And even though you're saying, Renee, I'm not trying to break them. I'm trying. I'm trying to be with them. I'm trying to get to know them more. But I feel like this person is closed down because they're scared. Seven of Swords. This person has been deceived so much. This person has been used. This person has been lied to. And I feel like you you've been in the same boat but for one reason or another i feel like you bounce back you are so strong and this person is wondering how you can be so strong and get through all the things that you've gotten through because they just aren't able to they're kind of stuck and they're wondering how you do it. But they're too afraid to ask. They're too afraid to open up to you. Wow. Okay. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse. They're scared to speak to you. They don't know. They don't know what to say. For one. They don't know how to start the conversation. And I feel like whether you know it or not. This person is doing a lot of healing. I feel like the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is working with them behind the scenes. And you're not aware, but this person is going through so much healing because of all the karma that they're dealing with at the moment. All of the tumultuous all of the trauma that they're going through at the moment is putting them through this spiritual healing and they're battling their demons they're battling all this old stuff that's coming up and it's hard it's hard on this person and I feel like you you probably know that it's hard because I feel like there's things that you're battling behind the scenes as well. There's a lot of things coming up from the past. People coming in from the past at the moment. 
people that you may not be aware of. Yeah, King of Swords. You're standing on your truth. You're standing on facts. Right? And I feel like this person is going through tower moments. They're going through almost this supernatural circumstances at the moment that are making them battle their demons. It's like they don't have a choice. It's either battle them or just give up. And I feel like this person is going through these tower moments to finally learn the lessons that they were not willing to learn prior. This person was being lazy, right? They, they didn't want to go through the motions. They didn't want to go through the lessons. It was too painful. And it's not exactly that they were lazy. It was too painful to go through the past and dig up those bones, right? So, this person is going through a lot of pain at the moment. Even though you may not be aware. If you do see your person and they smile, yeah, they're just putting on a strong face because underneath, they're not very strong at the moment. You carry all this strength. This is you. You are strong. This is your person at the moment. Your person is having a really long, hard time. So give them a little bit of grace. Because I feel like they see you as the Empress. Fruitful. Able to multiply anything. Bring anything into fruition. I feel like your manifestations are coming true as well. You're being very fruitful at the moment. So if it doesn't look like that, things are coming into fruition. And Spirit is telling you to, to hold tight and be strong. Have faith. And pray. Wow, this is this is a deep a deep message. This is a really deep message. And I was wondering why I was led to pull the cards. Hangman. Yeah, your person is trying to look through things from a different perspective. And they're having a really hard time. Like like I said, I feel like you have this person so confused. At first, they, they didn't really understand. They thought that maybe you had put some kind of spell on them. <laughs> that you were some kind of witch. That you had some kind of powers that they were unaware of. Because what they felt from you, they've never felt before. This is something totally new. This is new territory. This is something that they did not think you were possible. I feel like this person prayed for you. They prayed for someone exactly like you. They prayed you into their life. But once you came into their life, they got scared because you were everything that they had been looking for. You were everything that they've ever wanted in a person. You checked all the boxes. For everything that they've wanted. And it makes you wifey material, right? Or husband material. And I feel like this person, you may not be aware of it at all, but I feel like bef right before you met this person, I feel like they had just ended a situation that hurt them deeply. No matter what this person has told you, or what you think about this person. 
they were in a situation that hurt them deeply and they just weren't ready for you they just wasn't ready they were scared right spirit give me a message and it, it's funny because the king of cups back again this person has so much love for you so much love think about it the love that you have for this person times that by 10 this person thinks about you in such a high regard and I feel like <clears throat> this person whenever they're not distracting themselves you're all you're all they think about that's the reason why this person distracts himself with work with substances with third parties you know the counterfeit right I, I feel like this person tries to stay distracted just so you don't dilute their mind because you're you're there you're living on their mind rent free they really don't have a choice because I feel like in their quiet moments they're fantasizing they're thinking about you and what life could be but I feel like their fantasies is to make an offer their fantasies is to come running to you is to come pouring their heart out to you right because you're all they think about they think about healing the situation with you and working things out and building building a life together this is what they think about look the hierophant they think about marriage and commitment and they're being led straight to you but I feel like they're trying very hard to stay distracted. Spirit, give me a message for my viewers. If this is resonating with you, please like and subscribe. Um, yeah, the strength card. Be strong and have faith. Because I feel like the month of July, the month of July with the Saturn retrograde and the Mercury retrograde, I think that's the next one coming about. With those two planetary situations coming through. The, the energy is just going to increase. It's just going to get stronger. Right? So this is a month that's going to be very interesting. <clears throat> the lovers. The ten of wands. And the wheel of fortune. Definitely changes being made. Changes behind the scenes being made that you're unaware of. I feel like if the third party situation is going on at the moment, I feel like that's coming to a close. That's no longer going to be an issue. The Four of Pentacles. They're no longer holding any stability with that situation. They know that that situation isn't stable. And it isn't being fruitful. It isn't fruitful to their situation. So I feel like the third party situation is going to come to a close. But this person is fighting. As far as this situation, they're kind of rebelling because, <clears throat> excuse me, because they're in the situation they they may feel like they need a partner like they 
don't want to be alone, right? But I feel like in all of this energy that's coming about, I feel like spirit is going to be moving them to a situation that they don't have a choice. They don't have a choice but to move forward. They don't have a choice but to stop being distracted and do the work. Right? Yeah, Queen of Swords energy. This was the only card that was backwards in this deck as I was just looking through it. And Queen of Swords energy. The, this person, you or this person may be divorced, may be going through a divorce. But I feel like, and I, I don't feel like this has anything to do with divorce. I feel like this has to do with bitterness. This person is very bitter that you seem to be doing well. Even though they're being distracted. Even though they're trying to play games with you. They're trying to get your attention. And it doesn't seem to be working. And you seem to be doing fine. You, <laughs> you have this person so confused. So whatever you're doing, keep doing it. Right? Because this person, they, they, they don't know how to, they, they don't know what to make of you. You are like nobody else they have ever met in their life. Right? And... I believe this person is going to be moved to make a choice. What you don't know is I feel like this person is being led to make a choice. Right? Let's see what else we have. But definitely keep an eye for July. Because I feel like July is going to be very interesting. King of Pentacles. I feel like your person is working very hard to figure out their stuff, right? They're working very hard to try to get themselves into a position to where they can make you proud of them. Because I feel like that's what this person really wants. They want you to see them in this light that they're a good person. Because I feel like this person has been called names. They have been talked about. They have been kicked to the curb. They have been abused and used so many times. And I feel like that's something that you don't know. Or maybe that you can't see. Right. Spirit, give me one last message before we go. I feel like this person may be talking to you through music. They may be speaking to you through music. So be observant. And they see you as the Empress. They see you as this beautiful light. This beautiful light that can bring them so much abundance, so much joy, so much happiness. And I feel like this person feels like they could build a family with you. Like, you're the one. Okay? You are the empress in the energy that you are in at the moment. So stay in this empress energy. Be at your best. Be at your most. Right? Because I feel like this person is going to move out of this Nine of Swords energy. They're going to move out of this Nine of Swords being fearful, being afraid, being withdrawn, and just not able to move on. 
because they're they're gonna come out of this nine of swords and they're gonna finally make an offer they're finally gonna come forward so have patience and I feel like the although it's gonna be an offer even it's gonna be a small offer right but you just need to pay attention and like I said I feel like this person is speaking to you through music your soul is hearing their soul through music so be observant of the music that you listen to <laughs> for example if you are listening to a hip-hop channel and all of a sudden in between the two hip-hop songs there is a love song or even better there is a gospel song in between two songs that just don't fit with gospel right I feel like spirit is letting you know that this message is for you so be observant take notice because the little things that may not be observed by you know being normal I feel like there's a message that you need to listen to you need to hear okay we have the six of wands at the bottom so you are going to get victory you and your person are going to get victory in this situation so you just need to have patience and I'm not saying to wait I'm not saying to hold out hope and just put your life on hold I'm not saying none of that I'm saying that keep living your best life keep doing you and keep going through your struggles because I know you're going through your struggles but spirit wants you to know that you're gonna come out on top okay you are gonna come out on top because you're the Empress that's what I have for you so I hope this message finds you well and even though I really didn't get to pull the spread that I wanted to pull I feel like the Holy Spirit gave the message the way it was supposed to be given so if this message res resonates with you please like and subscribe hit that bell for the notifications and I'm gonna try to get more messages out to you I was dealing with my own stuff and I was dealing with some really hard issues that had me in a really dark place so I had to work with the Holy Spirit to really to really heal my body my soul and my mind so now that I'm in a better place um, I hope to bring you more readings so with that being said many blessings to you love and light and have a wonderful a wonderful week ahead thank you for listening